Are you considering low E glass for your home? Before you decide, let's explore some potential downsides about low E glass that you might not know. And in this video, we're gonna teach you how to make an informed choice when it comes to your home's windows. Hey, I'm Chris from Southwest Exteriors and welcome back to the Home Solutions channel. We all know low E glass is popular for its energy efficiency. But like any home improvement option, it's important to weigh out the pros and cons. Now, we've already talked about the positives of low E glass in a previous video. You can uh, check that one out using the link right here above. But today we're gonna dive into some potential downsides of low E glass to help you make the best decision for your home. First up, let's talk about cost. Low E glass typically comes with a higher upfront price compared to standard glass. This can be a significant factor if you're on a tight budget. While it's an investment that can pay off over time through energy savings, the initial cost can be a hurdle. On average, low E glass costs between $10 and $14 per square foot. This price range can vary depending on the specific type of low E coating, the size and shape of the window, and any additional features you might choose. In comparison, a standard glass typically costs between $5 and $7 per square foot. As you can see, low E glass is generally more expensive up front. However, it's important to consider the long-term savings on your energy bills. Low E glass can reduce your heating and cooling costs by up to 30%, which can add up significantly over the years. Next, you might notice a slight tint. Low E coatings can sometimes give windows a subtle hue which might affect the natural light in your home. For some, this is a minor issue, but for some, it's a major issue. And if you're particular about the color and quality of light in your home, it can be a major consideration when deciding if you want low E glass. Another point to consider is the reduced solar heat gain during winter. While low E glass excels at keeping heat out in the summer, it also means you won't benefit as much from the natural warmth of the sun during colder months. This can result in higher heating costs if you live in a colder climate. Low E glass can sometimes interfere with wireless signals. The metallic coating that helps with insulation can also block or weaken signals for Wi-Fi, cell phones, and other wireless devices. If you rely heavily on these technologies, this could be a concern that you might want to investigate a little bit more before committing to low E glass. Lastly, the insulation of low E glass can be more complex. It requires precise handling and expertise to ensure the coatings are not damaged. This can potentially increase insulation costs and time, so it's crucial to hire experienced professionals to replace windows in your home. Choosing the right glass for your window is a big decision, and we're here to help. If you have any questions or need personalized advice, reach out to us at southwestexteriors.com. And if you want to see the other side of the coin, make sure to check out our video on the benefits of low E glass linked right above. For more home improvement tips, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by the Home Solutions channel where we want you to have the look you love coming home to.